aroma chemicals. There are many, many thousands of aroma chemicals, but they mostly start from two starting materials. One is from pinene, which is obtained from pine oil, okay, yeah. Turpentine oil, same, or cedarwood oil. The actual main source of pinene oil now is from the paper industry, because a very cl clever company down in um, Jacksonville, Florida, about 20 plus years ago, said the paper industry has a problem with pollution because what do you use to make paper? Trees, wood, and very often pine wood or cedar wood. And how do you make it into paper? You have to boil it. What is boiling? What is boiling? Distillation. So effectively when they make paper they're distilling the wood but they weren't catching the, the effluent. So a perfume company came along and said, the Glidden perfume company came along and said can we help you, yeah? We'll put some uh, hoods over your boiling vats and we'll collect the, the pollution, yeah? And so it was a solution that worked for both sides, yeah? The perfume industry got a cheap source of pinene and the, wood, the paper industry solved a pollution problem. So that's the main source actually of pinene nowadays, yeah? Rather than actually distilling the pine for it. The next is crude oil. <coughs> crude oil is separated into fractions. Pentane, hexane, heptane, octane, nonane, decane, etc. And these are used as starting materials for production of other chemicals. But they involve chemical reactions. So they involve special processes that twist the molecules round and add functional groups with acids and alkalis and things and we get these thousands of materials. Aroma chemicals can loosely be split into aroma chemicals that are um, nature identical. So we can get linalol from linalol berries or not, <laughs> yeah? Or we can make it from pinene by a process of chemical reactions. And we say it's nature identical because it's the same molecule. Yeah. But then we have another group of chemicals that are completely <coughs> synthetic that the world has never seen before. Yeah. Dihydromersonol, iso E super. Yeah. These are things that yeah, are, new, are new to us completely and have no history with the, the human race. Typically, nowadays, aroma chemicals will make up 85% of a perfume compound. Yes? 10% in the compound. Yeah, yeah. But it, it could be higher. It could be as much as 90%, uh, for example, if you did a cheap dishwashing liquid with limonene. And 85%. Don't worry about that adding up to 100 because you can get a perfume that's 100% natural, just essential oils. Yeah? So every perfume is based on, if you remember I said, on average use of raw materials by perfume companies. Well, it may have natural isolates, yeah. No aroma but it should not have these, uh, yeah. If we said it was nature identical, then it would have the nature identical chemicals, yeah. 